Hi, this is second multiverse editing Ari coming in before the first one does, even though technically I'm coming in a day late. I apologize if it's, if it's a bit boring and drudgy. It, I, I tried my best to, to get audio in here for like, I thought about trying to get some city folk, some bit of popular, a, a bit of, a bit of take, taking root. This is a, this is a really good, like, uh, demo album by Scruffy. Just check it out. It's, it's really good audio. And like ten bucks, I mean, you get flax. It's they sound great. They're good for on a loop, on an hourly loop. Just listen to them. Check them out. I'm trying my best to go through and get rid of all the other BS that's in here. That's just like talking to gab, but I don't want to mess up the the flow of the video. So just bear with me. I just like talking, and because of that, it makes it hard for us two editing Aries to then make up for the fact that this one likes talking too much. I don't have a lot of time before I have to go to work tomorrow, so I'm doing my best to speed through, run through this. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hi. <laughs> if you've noticed on the title, this is an iPod video. Just gonna get it out of the way. Here's the first one that I got. Look at him. He's so small. I'm gonna try and make him. Here we go. Now you can actually see the little man in full view. Damn. But this was the first one I got. I got it from EOE. I'm going to put like a little blurb or something right up here. The reason that I got interested in doing this <laughs> was that I was getting, I feel like most people nowadays are getting like really uh, frustrated with using their mobile devices for I everything. It is a good starter for... I guess a little bit of phone detox, not too much, just enough so you can actually listen to music through this and not through, let's just pretend it's, it's a now up to date Android smartphone slash Apple iPhone. Well, except for this thing, this thing actually has US USB-C and you can put USB-C peripherals in it. Wow. <laughs> That's so sad. And has, and has a USB-C interface, but Apple can't you know, take that huge stick out of their ass and put USB-C on their more flagship iPhones. This is an iPad Air from this year. Or la last year, sorry, I forgot that January happened. <laughs> but that, that's, beside the, that's beside the point. I've seen so many of these things and nanos. I'll also hint, never go for a nano unless you are a huge masochist. Since I've been a kid, I've seen these things like pop up in, in pawn shops a lot and have always been really interested to get one. My sibling at some point got an RCA MP3 player from the pawn shop, I assume. I used to steal that thing all the time just so I could use it, and it was so cool. The battery on it sucked. We didn't know how to replace it. And the thing looked like it was at least from, I'd say, the... I want to say early 2000s. It was like a, a touchscreen kind of thing, and it was really weird, but I loved it. And it was so small, and, it's, and the sound was good from the fact that we <laughs> would only use it to record the radio which was a thing back then the struggle was real <laughs> especially for those who have to pirate the music just to listen to stuff that is not available anymore i i've just been tired of dealing with my phone and now that i recently got my license and have had a car for a while i don't want to deal with the whole like texting while driving uh oh, I could, while I'm doing things on my phone, I could then smack, I could T-bone somebody or get my neck cut up into slices through the windshield. Especially with the fact that my car doesn't have airbags. It's a very cool looking car, but it is a very non-now standard car. And because of that, it the safety regulations were very thin and narrow. But it looks cool, I guess. At least if I die, I'll go out in style. <laughs> but I just I just wanted something that could play music. And just play music and not do anything else. And this achieves it. I'm gonna turn it on real quick. Just so you guys can look at it. Mm-hmm. I haven't I haven't actually uh, loaded this thing up to put music on it yet because it's been dead for a long time, which is why I had to get the 5th gen. But it suddenly thought, hmm, maybe I might work and be fine and play multiple songs and not have any issues. Maybe it was because I was trying to play songs at 
about mid-volume, and then also go through menus while that is saving. That probably overloaded the memory that's inside of this thing, because again, this thing is like 2004. Actually, let me check the year on it. Yup! This was born when I was born. I feel old. This is the epitome of me. Look, it's got, it's got dings and stuff on the side. I'm not sure if that'll show up on camera or not. These things are the easiest to actually mod. I... Would take this thing apart, but I'm, a sc I'm scared that I'm going to break it again. But I might as well. If you're ever planning to get an iPod, make sure that you turn this stuff off. Because you don't want it to, to just, like, turn on while you're surgically taking it apart. And it'd be like, ah, what are you doing? But I'll go ahead and get the sucker apart. Usually I just use my nail on this if I've got leverage. There's supposed to be a good couple clips on this bottom section right here. They're gone. That's my fault. With, I, it, this, oh, crap, it's awake. No, I should have forgot to turn it off. Make sure you watch for this section right here. If you can see that little bit of bore right there, that goes up to the click wheel right here. You don't want to damage that because, well, I mean, you can if you want to, but it's 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 not worth it. Especially if you're if you're already planning to replace it for at some point, it's good to have like a good decent click wheel. I accidentally broke the actual click wheel that came with this refurbished model. The idea that you can replace every single part of this if you really wanted to. And still have something that's operable. Or, again, like like dank, dank pods would do, Shrek pod it, make this thing like absolute garbage, have no external casing for it, and then still have it chug along. That, it's just, it's, an, it's crazy, but I, I digress. With these clips, I've, art, I've done it the worst way, and I've like scraped across the top of it, so there's like barely any metal left to actually hold these things in. There's enough but just not enough. With these clips, they're like, they're pushed against the side, but it's really finagly of having to like push and then pull outwards. Or you can just do this and go across this little area right here and then sort of... <laughs> okay, that worked. Again, I've, I've opened this thing so many times that it just, it just, it just wants to get out. Let's see if I can get this on camera. There, this flat bit right here, you do not want to try and leverage that at all. There is a little section under here that probably won't come up on camera. Maybe. Nope. Okay. You can probably see it like right there. It's a gray bit. That is the connector. You want to go for that. And what I found works is that you just want to sort of like hug around the, the that chunk of the connector and sort of wiggle it out. Let me see if I can wrench under this. And again, I've opened this thing so many times that it doesn't like to hold anymore. Which I guess is a good thing. Okay, that's the connector out. I, I'm not really sure how, how hard I'm supposed to press on these. And there's not really an easy way to get it back in without scratching it across the actual cloak wheel, but it still, it still works fine. I'd say just like even force. Alright, that's the cloak wheel out. I'm going to set this on the side right here. I forget how I got into this thing the last time. Aha, right. That's up. Find an area, if it's if it's like a used model, if someone has opened it before, just look for that and just keep using that area. It'll div out enough to where like, it's like a really crappy door where you can just stick a screwdriver and just... <laughs> this is the... This entire sh uh, thing right here is the hold and aux assembly. It also has the FM tuner thing right here, which can be used for accessories. But after that, you get out these screws, which I'll grab the screwdriver real quick. While this thing was dormant, I lost the screws. <laughs> I lost them. These are torque screws. I'm not sure if they'll show up at all. They're T4s, and they work fine. They actually work a lot better than the screws that came in here because those ones are really stripped. I'd say if you want if you want to replace the screws on here, go for go for torque screws. Just make sure that you're careful and you don't strip them. The these T the T4 screws might be a bit big by a tad. It just takes some time for the threads to actually widen up a bit for them. So just be patient and make sure you're not turning in a weird way. Otherwise, you'll end up having the threads going on in an off-center way. But the rest of this just slides out it's a luxury aluminum dude look at that it looks so cool and again with these you can you can just buy a new chinese manufactured case for pretty cheap and then just swap them out i got gold because i thought mm, fancy ipod might as well make it gold it's a 950 milliamp battery 
256 gig, no name, SD card, TF card. Also, I'm gonna mention now that I'm sick, so you're gonna notice my voice being a bit nasally. And, <coughs> and I would take apart the screen right here, but I've just permanently put it together because I broke the plastic clips that held the screen assembly together. I did a screen mod on mine. That's why it had a yellow tinge to it. The, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna break down the screen a bit. There is obviously the color layer where the where the LEDs are at. They're like on the side. You then have a diffuser layer. And I think there's a white, like a, some weird like crystal like etched layer in between that to then diffuse it more or something like that. Like a white, like a thin, a fine diffuser layer and then the etched one. I think, I'm not sure which order they go in. But I ended up putting the, I got the, tra you know, the transparent binder holder things. I got like a pack of those for like five bucks. I looked through the red and orange, like between that area, Mo mostly just because I'm more than aware that blue light is not good for human eyes for long exposure times. So now I'm going to put this thing back together and hopefully it works. I've seen, I've seen people put the entire assembly, just slide that back in. Although I'm not, I don't usually seem to have good luck with that, so I just do it separately. It, it Either way, it'll go back together pretty easily. It just makes more sense to go step 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 4, 3, 2, 1, instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, <laughs> if that makes sense. Alright, you want to make sure that you have, and you can see in here, you've got a rail system right here. You want to make sure that you put all of this stuff below the rails. I think these top rails are actually meant specifically for the click wheel, and that's why you're able to put all everything in all at once, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to. And because I can. <laughs> now with this, with this bit, this has to go in that, that section of, the, of the, this rail right here. So they're gonna be separated. So you're gonna put it on top, or maybe I'm wrong, Nope, I was right. All right, you want to put it on top of the rail. And then you want to make sure that you push down the middle button or else it'll scrape across the housing. It'll scrape anyways. It's it's inevitable. It doesn't seem like it will. Oh, there it goes. All right. And then with this, you're just going to put, at least in how I've done it so far, is you put the edges in, these two edges right here, and then just sort of wiggle one side in, and then the other side in. Again, I've completely destroyed this housing, and it just does not... Oh, there we go. All right. Make sure you're careful with these plastic inserts. They break really easily and have... <laughs> They're not strong. But, yeah, it's back together again. Let's see if it actually works. All right, that's good. Now let's put you back into hibernation. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. The shitty fifth gen. Oh, God. This guy has seen a lot. I got this thing on eBay for 25 bucks. Non-working condition. If you notice that I that the this is gone, I've to, I'll, 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 to, I'll explain that. But they couldn't get it working at all because they didn't have a Firewire 400 charger. You always want to make sure you've got one of those on hand. Always. They are a godsend. All right. When I changed the battery on my my Mini 2G, it it wouldn't come on. It, when I swapped the battery out, it was having drive issues. And as soon as I got a Firewire 400 charger and just plugged in, it was like, oh god, uh, th uh thanks. Like it, like I just gave it like CPR or something, and it worked fine. And I thought, hmm, this thing looks in pretty good nick. It's obviously not operational, and I got it plugged it in and it woke up <laughs> and it was fun so i put rockbox on it opened it up and noticed that there was a lot of songs on there some soul funk uh soul jazz 60 70s stuff a lot of james brown miles davis and a bit of uh, bill withers oh dude that, that i love i love uh let me be the one you need. It's such it's such a good song. And I'm still actually sorting through a lot of the songs because the drive that was in this thing has bad sectors, which sucks. And there were, I think, about 17 songs or so out of the 1,000-plus list of songs that 
would not get off of those bad sectors because I'm pretty sure that they were just stuck in the sectors halfway. They would play, but you couldn't you couldn't delete them, you couldn't transfer them without it just hanging and then dropping during the transfer. So there are 17 songs in this thing that I cannot move at all, anymore. I just have to look at the names of them and then get them from somewhere else. It still works. I haven't fully checked what sectors are dead to actually rewrite the sectors or block them out, even if it drops the file size or the, the max size of this thing down, but the drive itself is still fine. The last time that this thing was used was in 2008 by two people. I think the from the stuff that was uploaded and offloaded, there were, let's see, I think the range was about around January, so they definitely got this thing for Christmas, I would assume so, and then like June and July, and after that, it's it just, pfft. so the, the, the first owner used this thing a lot, and it showed me the email address of them, I thought about contacting them, and saying like, hey, uh, do you remember an iPod from 2008? had Miles Davis on it, a couple of Bill Withers stuff. I haven't gotten around to it yet because I still want to go through the entire library and sort everything out and make sure that there are no duds on there. There are a couple of songs that are actually corrupted. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I'm pretty sure it's the entire album of Luther Vandross's Dance With My Father. So, because there are a couple of, like skips and uh, drags and stuff in the song that I noticed. And then there's also some M4Ps which I've heard are non-standard, like, Apple DRM sort of songs, and they are not playable on anything except for VLC, which is odd. But since I've got this thing on the table, let's go ahead and get this thing apart. I usually just go for the top corner right here, like, in the middle of where the screen's at. Yeah, like, that, that line right there. That's where I've gone for the most, and there's, like, a groove where it sort of fits in. And you sort of go back and forth with it, and then push down. Let's see if it'll... Yep, got one. Got another one. Got another one. And then you can see that there's a bit of tension at the top right here. Ah. Oh, got it. All right. Now, with the fact that, I, again, that I've done this so many times, this case is sort of warped a tiny bit. Not too much, but it's enough where it makes it a lot easier to pop everything out, if it will pop out. If you, if you just want to go for one side, go for this and then sort of wiggle it at the top. That way you can then get the bottom of these pins taken out. Oh crap, is this thing off and on hold? Yes, okay, good. Remember, on hold. Put it on hold. Don't have it wake up in the middle of the surgery. And this is what we've got set up so far. I've taken a, a, a lot of crap out of this board because I'm doing a redesign on the face and stuff. I'm putting a, instead of a 30 gig, if it'll show up, instead of a 30 gig, I'm putting 256 gigabytes on here. It's a custom thin case that's also silver. And then for the front, I'm putting... I'm, go I'm just going to go stock with it, white faceplate, gray click wheel, white button, simple. I don't want to get too crazy with it because when I was, when I thought about shelling out like 200 bucks for a custom iPod, it was all that like a rainbow on the back and gold in the front and stuff. It was, it was all over the place. So I just want to go simple and then see where I can go from there. And this is the 2000 milliamp hour battery. It's a square one. So it actually fits with the, this iFlash solo right here. I've got 256 gigs of a SanDisk Extreme Ultra, not plus. Plus is, or wait, no, wait, actually, let me, let me pop this thing out. I want to make sure that I'm right. iFlash on their website say that they, that one works and one doesn't. I just want to check. See, yeah, it's an extreme, extreme, not ultra or plus. Extreme works. The other ones are apparently finicky. <laughs> also, the reason that I'm replacing a lot of stuff, I'm, I am, am replacing... Yeah, it's just honestly better just to do it with a nail. See, bail's up. Cord's out. And this is the entire headphone and hold button assembly. This is the hold switch right there. Headphone jack. Headphone jack. Wow. Man. It's hard to believe phones from like 2014 had these things on them, right? Now it's just low to mid spec phones. If you notice that bit of black electrical tape, while I was taking the original battery out, I nicked the outside of the trace of the hold switch. <laughs> I probably didn't hit the trace at all and just hit the outside layer where it allows it to, to flex and stuff. So I was, I'm fine. But I just ended up getting a new one anyways because I'm just going to keep this case just for keepsies. To say, huh, I still have the original owner's back case and it's still in good condition. I've all, again, I, I transported a couple things or transplanted a couple things from this to the new one. I'm keeping it in the pl in the, the weird plastic 
condom thing, but I've got two quarters in here with adhesive with double stick adhesive on the back and just made sure that all the cables were down flat just to make sure that they weren't moving around and stuff. And it I don't think that it's weighty enough, but because of the space that I have, it's good enough that it's somewhat convincing that there's still a hard drive in here. 256 gigs. Nice and clean. Has a weird serial number on it. Let me actually let me check what the serial number is on here. I'm wondering if if you buy the same one, if the serial number is the same or if it's randomized. I'm not sure. I'd be curious to see that though. I might consider getting a gold one at some point just because gold. But I think I'm good for the stock silver look for now. And I'm pretty sure most of you, if you are seeing this video, have seen a white faceplate before, but I'm just going to show it just for funsies. I'm going to see if I can keep this foam on here because I watched a, well, I'm not sure if any of you guys have heard of them, but does not compute. They, a, a good couple of times they've done like reviews of like all the iPods. Like they also did a, a mod where they did the flash mod and they put a new front case on it because there's this like cracked on the, the protective display for the LCD screen. I'm not sure what the terminology is for it, but. But they said that these these clips right here were just a tiny bit too short compared to the stock ones. In, in his case, he had to take off this this black film around the edge of where the LCD, like the the gasket, the gasket, the gasket, the gasket where the LCD would be into place. But I hopefully won't have to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> now you want to make sure that with this corner right here, you want to you want to mirror it and make sure that it's the battery's not where the the aux, the aux jack is at, so you just want to flip it, and then slowly put everything back in the way that it was. Alright, let's turn the thing on, see if it works. Uh-oh, alright. Yeah, I have set the drive. I already know. Yep, okay. And here comes the saga of pain. I didn't reseat the drive in correctly, apparently, but that's okay. Chance that I didn't reseat the SD card inside the adapter well. Good chance of that. Take this out and reseat it again. Right, put this whole switch off. If it boots in a couple seconds, yep. All right. It was just it was just the fact that the drive needed to be reseated. All right, it's back together. Okay, now let's let's reset this. If it takes less than a second to boot up, okay, that's good. All right, we're back. And we're all good. I'm not going to check the au the aux. It's it's fine. I don't need to troubleshoot this thing because I've already done that like 50 times over. That's why this thing's so easy to open, but yeah, there it is. And now with movie magic, I'm going to have everything on this thing, or maybe I'll show the cook wheel. I'll probably show the cook wheel. But for now, that's going to be this recording session. I can go ahead and show you. Let's see. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show a couple of, of pick favorites I'm on. Killers, got some modest, lots of modest mouse. I've been listening to, if I can find it, here we go. This is a long drive for someone with nothing to think about. It has a similar vibe to their Sad Sappy Sucker album. Kind of a bit of building nothing out of something, but I'd say that it, it's it's more closer to Sad Sappy Sucker. But this is this is definitely a good listen, honestly. It, like it's just it's so dirty and all over the place, and I'd love it. But yeah, that's that's this iPod fifth gen. I'm probably gonna stick with with these two, honestly. There's such a generational difference between this one. You've got a mono screen. If it'll pop up there we go got a mono screen one of the first introductions of the click wheel let me get these in chronological order oh i didn't have that in center frame i keep forgetting that i have little markers here to say to show where my center frame is but i'm always really bad at that also because i'm filming this on an ipad <laughs> just to up the ante oh uh. <laughs> Hi, this is editing Ari halfway through doing all of this, the first section of the first video. Uh, I forgot to do an outro. <laughs>
just gonna explain this real quick that the second video was supposed to be conjoined with this one, but because of the way that I edited the second one without looking at this one for reference, I can't now. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> and I'm also, I also have been planning to work on some poems that I wrote a while ago that I never actually edited together and put in a video, so I might do that sometime tomorrow, possibly, and upload that. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've messed with the footage, and I, I still have to get all of the folly and everything for it to look and sound good. I'd, I'd upload it as, like, a black image, like an audiobook, but I, I, I want there to be some visual stuff in there, and it also would keep me busy, so. Plans for the next video. <laughs> Alright, see ya.